In anime I've been watching these last few months is Delicious in Dungeon, also known as Dungeon Meshi. I overall enjoy the anime, however that wasn't the case for me at the start. I struggled in the beginning to get into this anime, but I gave it time. Likewise, I, to be very apropos, let it cook, and it's been very rewarding. In this video, I want to touch on why I struggled with Delicious in Dungeon at the start, what it did to keep me invested, and when I started to really enjoy what it was doing. Perhaps doing this will encourage others to check out the anime, or if you are someone who is currently watching the anime and struggling to get through it, maybe this video will give you that little bit of incentive to keep you going. Before we get started, I wanted to put out a blanket spoiler warning. Most of the spoilers will be contained to the first half of the anime thus far, the first 12 to 14 episodes, but there could be some vague or minor spoilers from later in the anime. Don't worry, I haven't read the manga, so there won't be any spoilers from that. Without further ado, let's get cooking. First up, the synopsis. When Laios and his adventuring party are completely wiped out by a dragon on the lower floor of a dungeon, they lose all their money and provisions, as well as Laios' sister, Fallen. Laios is eager to go back and save her, and is joined by the elf mage, Marcel and the half-foot locksmith Chilchuck. However, with no food or money, Laios comes up with the idea of eating the monsters they encounter as they descend back down the dungeon. And thankfully, before they have too many bad meals, they run into a dwarf warrior named Shinshi, who is well versed in dungeon cuisine. If you're familiar with cooking basics in the kitchen, then you know you need to give yourself prep time. Time you use to gather and prepare your ingredients before you actually cook anything. And while I didn't notice initially, I came to realize the early episodes of Delicious and Dungeon are laying a lot of prep work for it to start cooking with later. In early episodes, I struggled to get invested into the characters. The story was a bit slow, and the tone of the series took some time to adjust to. Laios is the only character with any solid motivations in the beginning. He wants to save his sister, but is so easily and humorously sidetracked by wanting to eat monsters. There's a mixed tone the anime has throughout its run. At times it can be very dark, serious, bordering on grotesque, but also humorous, heartwarming, and appetizing at others. Another character I struggled with in the beginning was Maciel, because she doesn't really do too much but get into trouble, usually of her own making. However, my opinion of her would do a complete 180 later, and is right now my favorite character in the anime. I'll touch on that and more a little later, because first I want to discuss what kept me coming back, even though I wasn't sold on this anime initially. Certainly, the animation played a part in keeping me interested enough to keep watching the anime. It also being a trigger-produced anime, I probably gave it more leeway, as I historically tend to like their anime. However, a big reason I kept watching was it was released weekly on Netflix, something Netflix doesn't always do with anime on the service. I, like I assume others, tend to follow a three to four episode rule. If I'm not feeling an anime after three or four episodes, it becomes more likely that I'll drop it. I actually really struggled around episode six with Delicious and Dungeon, the episode where Laios goes into all the paintings. It just didn't do much for me when I first watched it. I was heavily considering dropping it then, but in hindsight, it's one of the most important episodes, as it lays the groundwork for much of what's to come later in the anime. Had all or even just the first half of the anime been released at once, and then seeing how many episodes I had left, it probably would have discouraged me after a few episodes to keep watching. 
as I wouldn't have wanted to keep investing my time into something I was struggling to get into. Having the anime come out weekly, it's only half an hour or so a week spent watching it, and there was no looming episode count to discourage if I wasn't feeling a particular episode that day. Looking at the big picture, I also think this weekly release schedule allowed Delicious in Dungeon to better find its audience. The anime has gotten pretty popular right now. Word of mouth, I think, has really helped this anime take off. Because this anime has been airing weekly, that word of mouth has been traveling for nearly six months. And it's not just a flavor of the month had it come out all at once. I don't know if every show needs to come out weekly, but I definitely think most anime would benefit from it. Around episode 8, just two episodes after I seriously considered dropping the anime, I started to come around on Delicious and Dungeon. By this point, I had started to become more familiar with the tone the anime was going for, but most importantly, the anime started doing more with Marcel, which, again, in hindsight, was all by design. While most of Marcel's trouble is still of her own making, the reason she doesn't do much in the beginning is that the party needs to save her magic for when they are lower in the dungeon, where the monsters tend to be stronger. The lower in the dungeon they go, the more she gets involved, and the more we learn about her and the other characters. The deeper they dive into the dungeon, the more the audience learns about the characters and the world itself. Even though I was starting to come around on this anime, it probably wasn't until the Red Dragon arc of episodes towards the end of the first half, where I was finally completely sold on this anime. Without getting too into spoilers, the first half of the anime is practically just a prologue for everything that comes later. I've really enjoyed the direction the series went with Fallon, and how Laios and Marcel, in particular, have handled all that. As a teaser, I'll just say again, most of Marcel's trouble is of her own making. Clearly, it took me a while to come around and appreciate what this anime was doing, but I did get there eventually. Compared to other anime, I think this is a series you have to give a little more time before it really starts cooking, but like any good meal, it's worth the wait. With all that said, what are your thoughts on Delicious in Dungeon? Did you struggle at first like I did, or were you on board from the very beginning? Let me know in the comments. If you want to help support the channel and get early access to videos, you can become a plus tier member over on Patreon. If not, liking the video and subscribing also helps too. As always, I've been Anime Advisor. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye.